babe, how are you? Are you not going out tonight? You look beautiful by the way. Jolapo I am not going out today? I have been feeling sick since I got back from the senator yesterday, my period suddenly came rushing and there is a lot of clots in the discharge. It's so scary. Oh my god. That is bad, I hope this man has not done something bad to you. Wow. Your temperature is hot. Have you taken any medicine? This is serious. What are we going to do now? I took pain relief medicine, because the pain is unbearable, it's as if my womb is coming out with the blood, I'm so scared now. Jesus? I know this our job is risky. But this was the option we have to take care of ourselves and make our parents proud and also not to be left out among our peers. That's true, but we could have as well choose to suffer honorably instead of sleeping with men for money just to belong. I also don't think any good parent will be expecting undergraduate student to be making money for themselves yet, let alone helping herself financially and also helping the family too. It's so wrong. We were the ones who put ourselves under pressure by ourselves. We were supposed to be satisfied with the little our parents were sending to sustain us. And even if we choose to work, it should have been jobs with integrity even if they are low jobs and takes a lot of labor and hard work. You are right. But we have actually been living the good life, we don't get disrespected because we don't have money to pay our rent or whatever our needs is. We can afford anything we want. It's just this your matter that start making us think this way. I wish this will pass and you survive it, I don't want to lose you. It's so sad that these men with all the money and riches they have, they don't give or help women with it unless they sleep with her. You can just imagine. From the first time I tried it and saw how the guy gladly gave me money, I stopped putting value on my sexuality, it was more like, I am using what I have to make money for myself. The expensive gifts, expensive dates, vacations and soft life. I completely forgot it is a dangerous job until now. Yes dear, the dangers outweigh the gains. Lots of girls have been used for rituals, and all they acquired from these men was used to take care of themselves so they will live. Some have lost their wombs, some have run mad, some became very wretched and extremely poor, some have terrible illness no one has the cure, the list goes on my dear. We were only covered with the fancy things, it's not as if we don't know the dangers. We sure know the danger. But I think, that's what sin make people do, it keeps pushing you to do more till the person enter destruction. I don't know what will happen to me. I pray I survive this, I will stop prostitution, hook up, or whatever name they give it. I will stay away from men. It's obvious they are toxic. That's why they don't do goodness for women without sleeping with her. It's a shame on them. I will do things little no matter what. I don't mind living a cheap lifestyle from henceforth. I don't want these wicked men money that have no fear of God in their hearts. Someone with the fear of God won't ask his daughter's age mate to sleep with him before he helps her with money. Women need to stop accepting these demonic offers of these shameless men. I don't want to be a big girl while still on campus anymore. Big girl life is for women who are working already, I should live as a student not like working class lady. Well, everything you said is good. I wish I could make your decision too but I have clients who have promised me money and I need this money. Have you not thought about it, why is it so hard for these men to give money without sleeping with women? I believe if someone needs money, a good person will give without disrespecting them before giving. It must have been they are taking virtues away from women by sleeping with women. I am never allowing any man steal my virtues anymore. Anyone who won't bless me without humiliating me should stay away from me. I agree with you. I will join you. So we can be able to do this together and encourage each other on the journey to do decent jobs for money. Hashtag, say no to wicked men who sleep with women before giving them money.